Oh my gosh, I didn't want to be on either end of this game. Pathetic. Ugh. Pitiful. Here we got, let's see, first three names I got to remember are Enzo Gabara, Spencer Espigio, Nicholas Padilla for Eagle Grove. They have a lot of, apparently, Espanol people. Espanol people in Eagle Grove. In the state of Iowa, broadcaster Oren Harris and his producer, displayed their racism. Gee, I wonder why that is. I wonder why. But the latest there is that they're just going to gradually come into town. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Gradually yeah. work their way in. Gradually work their way in. <laughs> so who are these people again? Yeah, who are they? Oh, you who? want to know the names? Yeah. Enzo Gabara, Spencer Espigio, and Nick, Nicholas Padilla. Well, they sound like they've been there a while, with, given the first name. Yeah, I think they've been there. But it would only get worse. There's Chase Blasey. He sounds like he's not a foreigner. Could be, though. Yeah. They're all foreigners. <laughs> exactly, all foreigners. <laughs> they ought to, as Trump would say, go back where they came from. Well, some would say that, yeah. Uh, some days I feel like that, too. Yeah. Despicable from these two, and they would be punished. First things first. The producer, as some outlets reported, was the voice of Holly Jane Cusero Smith. She would resign in the wake of her bigotry. Get this, she worked for the school for 43 years. In fact, Cusero Smith was a third grade teacher in the district, but she also worked as a producer for radio station KIOW. The Forest City School Board accepted Holly's resignation. The main broadcaster, Orrin Harris, pictured here, would also be relieved of his duties. Per the Gazette, the conversation appears to occur during a commercial break, but it was carried live on the internet. It was not broadcast on the radio station. After calling the Eagle Grove team pathetic and pitiful, Harris and Cusero Smith started making remarks on the players' names and ethnicities. After a bit more banter, where they repeated the players' names, they went on to speculate about whether the high schoolers had been living in the country very long. Veronica Morales Colorado said her son Spencer and nephew Nicholas Padilla were targets of the radio employees' comments. I was appalled, angry, hurt, Morales Colorado said. My child was subjected to this. Morales Colorado said she is proud of her son, who told her he is not going to let people he does not know define him. The mother also said she is pleased the radio station acted quickly. Forest City is a town of 4,000 in Winnebago County in northern Iowa. Eagle Grove is a town of 3,500 down the road in Wright County. Wright County, home to Eagle Grove, was 11.4% Latino in 2016. The demographics firm Woods and Pool Economics projects that figure to be almost 32% by 2050. Census data show that about 5% of the population of the city of Forest City is Latino. Although this occurred years ago, considering local high school sports, it is timeless, but also is a valuable lesson that even though the broadcast may not be over the air, the online stream can catch everything from outside and inside the arena. The station's statement in response to the oustings would read in part, KIOW Radio has a long history of promoting and supporting student athletes, coaches, and schools. As a company, we take great pride in spotlighting the great efforts of our local citizens, schools, and communities, and we will demand that all company employees adhere to this policy. In the state, fans chanted Trump, Trump, Trump at Hispanic students as well. The incident occurred in Des Moines. The chanters were from Dallas Center Grimes High, which has a largely white population. Their school's team had just lost to Perry High School, which has a more diverse student population.